to begin performing A1C patient tests. It is best to have available all items necessary for the test before acquiring the patient sample. Please refer to the quick reference guide for an illustrated procedure for performing A1C testing. You will need the following. DCA hemoglobin A1C reagent kit with reagent cartridge and capillary holder. You should be using a reagent lot number which you have previously calibrated. The DCA Vantage Analyzer will notify you if you try to run a test on a previously uncalibrated reagent or you can search the DCA Vantage memory to view the lot numbers which are stored in the calibration memory. Please refer to the Recalling Calibration Data section of this video or the Operator's Guide for more details. Patient Sample Lint-free tissue And you will want to unwrap a reagent cartridge and capillary holder prior to collecting the patient sample. Now you will learn how to remove the A1C reagent cartridge from the foil package by following these steps. Remove one foil package from the reagent kit. Open the foil package. Remove the reagent cartridge from the package. Caution! When handling the reagent cartridge, do not touch or otherwise contaminate the optical window, or erroneous test results may occur. Next, you will need to remove and open the capillary holder. Open the plastic wrap of the capillary holder by tearing the wrap at the serrated edge with the arrow. Inspect the capillary holder for the presence of the following parts. Absorbent pad, glass capillary, latching mechanism. If the capillary holder is missing any of the above parts, discard the capillary holder. Note. You can save unused capillary holders and use them with any lot of DCA hemoglobin A1C reagent cartridges. Now you will fill the capillary with patient sample. Once the capillary is filled with the sample, analysis must begin within 5 minutes. The blood sample can be from a finger stick or a venipuncture as per the following directions. 1 microliter of blood is required to fill the capillary. If you decide to use capillary blood from a finger stick, use the following directions. Hold the capillary holder at an angle. Touch only the tip of the capillary to a small drop of blood on the finger until the capillary fills. Using a lint-free tissue, carefully wipe the outside of the glass capillary. Inspect the capillary for any bubbles and discard if present. If you decide to use whole blood obtained by venipuncture, use the following directions. Mix the sample well, by inversion or use of a tube mixer, to prevent separation of red blood cells and plasma. Remove stopper from the blood collection tube in such a way that a small sample of blood remains on the stopper. Hold the capillary holder at an angle. Touch only the tip of the capillary to the blood sample on the stopper. As an option, you can use a transfer pipette and bulb to draw up a small amount of sample and then use the capillary holder to acquire the sample directly from the end of the pipette. Using a lint-free tissue, carefully wipe the outside of the glass capillary. Note, do not allow the tissue to touch the open end of the glass capillary. Contact with the open end of the capillary could result in loss of sample by wicking into the tissue. If sample loss is obvious, discard the capillary holder and repeat the procedure using a new capillary holder. Inspect the glass capillary for presence of bubbles. If bubbles are obvious, discard the capillary holder and repeat the procedure using a new capillary holder. You will need to insert the capillary holder into the reagent cartridge within 5 minutes of collection by doing the following. Carefully insert the capillary holder into the reagent cartridge until the holder gently snaps into place. The next step is to scan the reagent cartridge so the instrument knows which test and lot number reagent you are using and to check for a valid calibration. 
The scanning process is as follows. Locate the dot on the system next to the barcode track. Locate the barcode on the reagent cartridge. Hold the reagent cartridge so that the barcode faces to the right. Insert the reagent cartridge above dot into the barcode track. Quickly and smoothly, slide the reagent cartridge down. A beep sounds to signal a successful scan. Note, if no beep sounds, repeat procedure. The final step is to insert the reagent cartridge into the DCA Vantage Analyzer as follows. The display will show the following steps. Open the cartridge compartment door. Hold the reagent cartridge so that the barcode faces to the right. Insert the reagent cartridge into the cartridge compartment until a gentle snap is heard or felt. Note, the cartridge is designed to fit only one way into the system. Do not force the cartridge into the system. Using a smooth, slow, continuous motion, pull the flexible pull tab completely out of the reagent cartridge. Close the door and dispose of the flexible pull tab. The A1C results will be completed in 6 minutes. You can cancel a test anytime. To cancel a test, select Cancel. Note, if a test in progress is cancelled, you must discard the reagent cartridge. The result screen displays when the system finishes analyzing the sample. The screen displays result values and demographics for each test. You can edit the sample demographics and comments at the sample data screen prior to printing by selecting the Edit button. You can also print the result by pressing the Print key. The following provides some additional details on the A1C result. The A1C test result displays the hemoglobin A1C percent. The reporting range for patient samples is 2.5% to 14.0% A1C and for control samples is 2.5% to 16.0% A1C. The test is linear throughout the range.